I can't believe I just put all that on the internet. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy cow. I'm like actually anxious to film this. I feel like I'm about to get like really real and I'm a little nervous today. I am very motivated to sit down and I feel like I always start my videos. I just wanted to sit down. <laughs> I just wanted to stand up. <laughs> I felt very motivated to make this video where you guys ask me questions that you think I might not want to answer or maybe questions that I've been straying away from lately or just questions that might go a little deeper down into the soul, into the heart, into the brain. I was actually inspired to do this by Olivia Jade. She just posted like a very personal Q&A video and I thought that was really cool of her. She answered some tough questions, some questions that like you don't just put out onto the internet and like I might regret making this video but you guys are my Dan fam. You guys are the ones who keep me going. I put a lot of my life out onto the internet and you guys are really cool and supportive of it. And there's some things lately that like you guys have been asking me or things that I haven't been talking about or things that you guys don't even know about that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about but I didn't really know how. And you guys have been asking me questions that like literally pertain to the things that I've been feeling. So it just like feels like it's time. I don't really know. It's not like a big deal. I don't really know. I don't know. I'm just like in this point of my life right now where life is so good, but there's a few different directions I could go in my life right now and I don't know what to do. I've always been someone who like knows what I want in my life and like right now I just like really don't and it's really weird. I posted this picture on Instagram and I said, hey homies, I want to film a personal with the little like squiggly things, a personal Q&A. So comment down below any questions that you guys have for me and y'all hit home with this. You guys really asked some questions. Also, my phone case. It's from Amazon. Love it. So I really just hope that you guys, everything I say today, I was going to say stays between us, but like, <laughs> like, I just hope that you guys listen to what I have to say for all these questions and you respect everything I have to say. I'm really not in the mood for any judgment or anything like that. But if you guys do have advice for me, I'd love it. What is the hardest part about being in college and running a YouTube channel? For me, it's not hard in the aspect of like actually getting the videos done and like editing. I find I actually have more time in college just because of like my schedule and I'm not like at school from like 8 to 3 p.m. every day. Um, but honestly, what's something that's really hard but also a really cool thing is a lot of people like know me as the YouTube girl or like, I don't know, that freshman YouTuber, whatever it may be. Um, and like I obviously dealt with that in high school like I was really used to just like being a YouTube girl like and no one's ever said anything mean but it is definitely frustrating sometimes like I don't know if people like care to talk to me because like I have Instagram followers or because they like me as a person and that's something that's like really hard like like tag me tag me like it's just like I don't know and like that's like a common struggle for like a lot of people I know but like that's probably the biggest struggle for me just like trying to figure out like if people actually want to be my friend or they like want to get Instagram famous and like I'm just being honest with you guys I mean like I have like really genuine friends here and I know the friends I have it's just sometimes like when I meet like people just like out and about I, I don't know and it's like so hard and I don't want to have to doubt people because I see the best in everyone but I also need to make sure I'm like protecting myself so that's kind of tough like I just it's like kind of hard because I don't know if like people want to be my friend or not to be honest <laughs> how was your rush experience so rush is like sorority recruitment I went through that the first week of school or like right before we started school in the fall and it was really fun honestly like because I love talking to people and stuff it was definitely interesting because I came from out of state so I go to a state school so like so many people know each other from like high school and stuff and I wasn't able to relate to a lot of the girls in the lot of sororities because I'm like I don't really know what you're talking about like I don't know that city I don't know that place or whatever um, so that was definitely hard and like I know I got cut from certain sororities because I didn't know anyone in the sorority which is like insane to me like I really feel like it should be based off of like personality and stuff. So one question I see a lot <laughs> and I've been seeing a lot and I just don't like to answer it because I'm someone who just likes to avoid conflict and I don't like to talk about things. Um, so a lot of you guys have been asking if me and Joey are still together. Um, he was in a lot of my videos and we were together a lot so I understand why you guys would think that all of a sudden like we're not posting on social media as much. But when we were together in New York City in December we decided that we really didn't want to put our relationship online anymore. It was just like really getting to be too much. And I, it was just like too much and like we weren't living for each other. We were living for like our social media presence. Like not even intentionally, it just kind of like subconsciously happened and we both know it, so. So right now we're both just kind of like doing our thing. We still talk, we're just trying to like not involve social media right now and I like really hope you guys can understand. It's not like we don't want to tell you guys things, it's just like social media was literally affecting our relationship if that makes sense. Someone asks, have you ever thought of transferring to school in LA or New York City? 
Um, so this is like a, this is, this is a question. When I saw this question, I was like, I really have to answer this. So I go to University of Georgia. I freaking love it here so much. Like first semester was rough. I honestly, first semester sucked a lot. Like I'm gonna be real. Like I was just transitioning. It was just completely new people, um, a new place to be different different social scene I was just like really just getting used to it all and like that's normal and like at first I thought I was the only one and then I would like met other people and they were like no I'm literally feeling the same way and it just made me feel so much better um but I was definitely in sort of a funk and it was really freaking weird that's why I kept traveling that's why I kept leaving like I didn't know how to deal with my like emotions so I just kept like traveling and like I'm happy I did those travels and I'm glad I didn't say no to like the opportunities I had but I also am kind of mad at myself because I missed out on a lot of things here and I just really needed to like push myself. Um, this semester I like went full force and I'm obviously traveling a little bit because like I do travel for like my job and like I love to travel either way. Um, but last semester I was literally traveling like every weekend. I'm having so much more fun at UGA this semester. I realized like I can say no to certain things if I want to go to them. I like i figured out my schedule, the people that I love being around. I love it here so much. My only issue is the academics. I came to UGA because I was like, oh my gosh, like it's like the perfect school, like I really wanna go here. But coming to UGA, I was just thinking about sorority and football games and I wasn't thinking about the actual thing I'm here for, school. <laughs> um, first of all, I can't believe I got in. Like, I'm not gonna like tell you guys my statistics, but it's just like kind of insane. Like, I feel like so many of my friends or people I know like didn't get in and like they had higher scores than me or whatever it may be, but I was also really involved in high school and like, I feel like maybe they actually looked at me as a person in my application. I don't really know. That's what I like to think. I came into college with not really any credits, so I'm taking a lot of core, I'm taking all core curriculum classes. I've had like one or two classes that like I semi enjoy, but it's just really, 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 really hard for me to enjoy the academic part of UGA because I thought I came to college to like study things I love. And that's, and you know, maybe that's me sounding snobby and like impatient, but the way it works here is usually like the end of your sophomore, you apply to the school you want to get into. I'm intended to apply for Grady, which is the School of Journalism, and I want to study advertising, but like I can't even take those classes until my junior year if I get in by my junior year. Like that is really, really, really frustrating for me because I am a very passion oriented person. So that's something I'm struggling with right now. My senior year, I considered applying to some schools in New York, not really LA, like I love California and stuff, but like I'm definitely more of an East Coast girl. I, but anyways, I looked at applying to schools that are more like fashion business related in New York, but I didn't because I didn't want to miss out on like the full college experience, like the SEC, you know, whatever. And I'm so happy I'm here, but I'm having this inner conflict right now where it's like, I am not like I'm not super motivated to do well in academics and that's not good like I need to be in a space where I'm motivated to like actually do well because the reason I'm in college is to like get a degree and like get a job after that and like if I'm doing like mediocre not even mediocre in college right now like that's an issue I'm getting pretty much B's and C's right now in college and I know that's normal but like just barely if that makes sense like and I'm just being honest with you guys like this is just how I've been feeling lately and it's just so so yes there's times where I'm like I wonder if I sh like academically if I should be somewhere else but it's so hard because I love it here so much in the sense of like the town and the friends I've made and my sorority like so it's really really hard and I'm trying to like find that balance so yeah that's how I'm feeling right now. If you guys have any opinions, definitely let me know down below or have any advice. I honestly would take it if you want to DM me or Tumblr message me, whatever. Um, but yeah, that was just like what I just said is like really personal and I've honestly only talked to my parents and a few of my friends about this. So what what's the best advice you've ever received and from who? Um, I don't really, really remember from who. I feel like it's been just like so many different people I've talked to, but I'm kind of like I've just been talking about in this video. I'm a very goal-oriented, future-oriented person. I'm always thinking about what's next, what I'm going to be doing this time next year, and so many people have just told me like, Danielle, you need to like really chill <laughs> and not worry about that. Like yes, to a point you need to like plan ahead. But sometimes I'm like literally just so focused on like what's next, making Pinterest boards for my life in the future and I'm not making like memories right now. So I think the biggest thing is just like living in the now and like, like yes, we're in to an extent, but also just like have fun and like understand that everything will happen for a reason. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to and just kind of ride the wave. How do you manage staying positive when everything seems to be going down? And what are your personal thoughts on religion and how you stay in your faith? I don't know why I'm crying right now. I'm just getting a little emotional because like, 
I really feel for people who sometimes have trouble staying positive about things. I've always just been like such a happy person. It's just been like, a, it's been an interesting year just like with so many things just changing in my life. To stay positive when things are just different and not the way you were used to them. Reach out to the people that you feel so good around. Talk to them. Like I'm such a proponent of like reaching out to people. Like it hurts my heart so much when people like don't tell others how they're feeling and I understand like you don't want to burden people with your problems but if I have if if I don't like tell people how I'm feeling like I think I'd go crazy and like actually not be okay but the fact that I I I have a community I have friends I have family who are willing to listen to me and talk it out with me I'm very thankful and I just think it's so important to reach out to people and talk to them how you're feeling. It kind of like lets it out. And they just make you feel comfortable because those are people who have positive vibes and make you feel good. Another thing is do things that you know make you happy. So this year when everything was just changing and I was just really confused with life, I joined a local dance studio here in Athens and it's been the best thing ever because when I was younger and I was really happy and loving life, I was hip hop dancing. So joining this dance team and doing hip hop again has kind of just brought this like new happiness in me. Well, I guess an old happiness, but kind of like brings back like, okay, like life is so good. Like I, I have passions, like everything is okay. And the second part is, and what are your personal thoughts on religion and how you stay in your faith? So I'm kind of all over the place with my faith, if I'm going to be honest. I was baptized a Catholic when I was younger, um, but my family doesn't necessarily go to church. Sorry, I keep touching my hair. I'm sorry. My family doesn't like go to church or mass every Sunday by any means. We're just super busy and I know that's not a good excuse. For four consecutive years in a row, I went to a Christian girls sleepaway camp in Asheville, North Carolina called Camp Hollymont. I really, really loved it and I think that's when I really accepted God into my heart as my own. Like I wasn't like influenced by anyone. Like it was truly like I was literally at a chapel one night. Like they took us into a chapel late at night and like they just played devotional music and I just like really felt his presence. I have all kinds of beliefs to be honest. Um, I just believe, I I personally believe that there is a higher power and that I'm being taken care of and I love reading devotional books. I go to this like freshman worship thing on Monday nights a lot here at UGA. Um, I don't know, just whenever, I don't really know. I'm just kind of all over the place but I do really appreciate it. I am so emotionally drained after that, holy crap. So again, I really hope this video answered a lot of your questions. Um, feel free to comment down below if you have any advice for me or understand how I'm feeling. Like, I just don't want to think I'm crazy. I don't think I'm crazy. I've talked to enough people about this that I'm like, okay, I'm okay. Um, this was a really, 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 really hard video to film. Not hard, like, I was really excited to film it, but it was also just really, like, this whole time I've just been sitting here like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, like, I'm actually saying this right now. Um, because it's just really hard to speak your thoughts sometimes because you don't know how people are going to receive it and if people are going to judge it. I don't really care about if people judge me or not, to be honest. Like, I'm, I've been on social media for, like, ten years, literally, so I'm not, like, really affected by hate comments. Like, I'm really not. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. I don't, I'll don't. i update you guys in the future on what I'm going to do with my life. I'm kind of all over the place because I love where I am right now. I love who I am, but there's obviously things I want to change and I have to figure out what's best for me in the long run and I literally don't know what's good for me. I feel like no matter what I do, I'll be in a positive situation. It's just like, what do I want to do? <laughs> I love you guys so much, obviously, if I was going to film this video. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want to be involved in the next Q&A. And I'll see you guys next time for my next video. I can't believe I filmed this. <laughs> Bye, guys. Everything's gonna be okay.